Since they're dead, so I have to use my controller. See? Um, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn post notifications on to get ready We got a Canadian flag. That means it's a Canadian company. That is hilarious. Uh, whoa. But anyway, so let's go down. We can see the ocean floor. We started off and we ended at the engines last time we saw the um, propeller blades is cool see myself like that's why i have titanic my username titanic is really cool really really cool but for some people it's not really this is an rv <laughs> Submarine. Uh, here we got computers and stuff. There's. We'll probably do the experience again because I didn't get good. Look at that. Okay. No. Okay. I just. Not focusing on those or this one or this. I'm focusing right there, so then it's a little bit to the the left. So what I do is I use the right stick. You do this to turn, make side to side. Okay, we're coming up. There it is. Debris! Right, new obje objective completed. Locate. Alright, uh, I can see it up ahead. The engines are massive. These two reciprocating engines weigh about 900 tons each and stand just over 9 meters tall. They were powered by the steam from the boiler rooms and turned the two side propellers. They also powered the turbine engines which turned the central propeller. Looks like the upper decks have collapsed and draped over the cylinders. Yeah, what used to be the first and second class kitchen galley is covering the starboard side, hmm. and parts of the sea deck are laying on the port side. Whoa, what a mess. I think I'm close enough for a photo. Great, you'll need to deploy the ROV and use the camera. Ah, Predator. Has anything changed on the ROV since I last operated it? Out of range of Sedna. Great. I've taken a photo. What's next? You can get out of camera mode by pressing and releasing the info button again. From this menu, you can also see the ROV's map. With your location and mission log out deck. I just... I thought my can game... Can I get there in the ROV or do I need to bring the submersible? Up to you, really. The range on the ROV is enough to cover the entire stern, but you might like to use the submersible to light up your photographs better. To get back into the submersible, press the return button. I'll head to the second class entrance now. You might like to swing past the starboard side before you head up to the boat deck. 
You can kind of see the turbine and dynamo engines through the missing Ah, nice. The dynamos generated all the electricity on board, right? Yeah. Titanic had four steam-driven generators that powered the lights, heating, fans, Marconi radio equipment, clocks, telephones, cranes, and elevators. She also had two backup generators on D-deck for emergencies, and they were run every night, just in case. Titanic really was a state-of-the-art ship with all the latest conveniences. What's so special about the second class entrance? Why are we heading there? The Olympic class liners were the first to provide second class passengers with an elevator. And the elevator equipment can be seen at the second class entrance. Huh. The elevator ran through the central well of the forward second class staircase and accessed the boat deck through to the F deck, skipping A deck. An elevator steward was allocated to each of the four elevators on board. They manually moved the elevator up and down the shaft using a lever connected to the motors. A good steward could stop the elevator by on each deck and assisted passengers with information about onboard facilities. Time to again Nothing, nothing, nothing. We're getting the controller.
I can't. I think he's at the very, very top. Boat. Remember them saying something about the boat, boat deck. I'm in the ship. You know, in real life, they actually have one of these walls. Literally. Like, they went down, like, I don't know how, to grab a full dang wall and a ship. But it had glasses broken. Deck, sea deck. I'm at E deck right now. Where am I? I know I'm on E deck because it's right there. Where on E deck? Just a perfect fit. Be strings. At the second class entrance. It's not in great shape. The walls at the entrance are propping the equipment up, but it's leaning to port and unstable. Be careful not to get too close when taking the photograph. Right. Done. Where to next? Next up is the starboard A deck crane, just aft of here. I've updated your map and mission log. I'll head there now. I didn't realize any cranes survived on the stern. Yeah. This is the only one still attached. It was electric, like the other cranes on board, and was used to access the number four hatch on B deck. The stern holds four, five, and six were mostly used for storing third class baggage and refrigerated food supplies. All right, I'm at the crane. I'll get the camera ready. that from the impact? Eat it. The stern was spiraling as it landed, and everything shifted to port, including the upper decks. It's more noticeable from the starboard side, but you can see the sea deck second class promenade windows don't line up with the lower deck walls by about three meters. I had no idea the impact was so violent. Yeah. The stern was traveling at roughly 60 kilometers per hour when it hit the ground. A lot of debris trailed out of the stern as it spun, and the jagged edges of the exposed decks were folded back or peeled off. 
The implosion damage had blown out the walls and sides, so the upper decks were lacking supports and collapsed on top of each other as it landed. The only reason the stern has some structure now is the watertight bulkheads remain. Objective photograph the ass. Is this what they want me to photograph? I'll take it out. Photograph has been taken. Is it just me or does this mast look shorter than the foremast? Yeah, this aft mast is slightly shorter than the foremast. Only the bottom section of both masts remains. The top 4.5 meters were teak and have since disintegrated. Okay, what's next? We're heading aft again. Over to the starboard side this time. I'll mark it on your map. What should I be looking for? We're moving towards a piece of decking, sticking up out of the collapsed decks. A loose section of the well deck fell fast enough that it managed to slice through the decks just forward of watertight bulk head O. Second class promenade deck. Second class promenade Vision audio. Joists on top can pose a threat for the ROV. Make sure you don't get too close. Right, I'll keep my distance. Damn it. Why is the decking here collapsed so much more than the port side? This area suffered massive implosion damage. The stern still had pockets of air as it sank, and the outside pressure increased to a point where the surrounding water forced its way into these pockets. The implosion was powerful enough to strip away all the cabin walls and supports from this area, leaving the decks to collapse on top of each other. Survivors reported hearing underwater explosions. Do you think that was the stern imploding? Yeah, that's the current opinion. Ships don't go down quietly. Okay, what's next? We've been asked to recover a tile from the decking just aft of here. There is a small pile of tiles from the third class general room, and we can grab one from the top of the pile. found the tile. I just need to pick it up by pressing the cross button to interact. Okay, so cross. So, this tile was originally from the general room. Was that near here? Yeah. The third class general and smoking rooms were at the very aft of the stern, just under the poop deck. We'll pass them as we head over to the port side propeller. Right. 
The general room was used as a covered communal space for families and friends to talk and enjoy music, similar to the open space in the bar. The smoking room next door was strictly for men and was somewhere they could relax and order a drink. If passengers wanted a bit of fresh air, they could head out onto the well deck. The destruction wasn't limited to the top of the ship. The propellers were bent up at an angle of 20 degrees. The correct position of the propeller is 7 meters below ground level. The stern was traveling at about 60 to 80 kilometers per hour and spun 2.5 rotations before hitting the ocean floor. Decks were bent back and the sides aren't connected. The sides must have come apart on the way down because they're bent too far out to be damaged from the impact. The central propeller has been thought to be a four-blade like Olympics, but Harland and Wolf records show a three-blade was fitted to Titanic. Side of the ship. This is the side of the ship. Well, kind of obvious. Things may be here in the world forever. Okay, Dr. Lynch. We are nearing the end of our dive. We have a couple of more tasks to complete before returning to the surface. Right. What's next? We have a special assignment from a company called VR Education, who are currently building a virtual model of the Titanic shipwreck. Whoa, the entire wreck? Yeah. Well, most of it. They wanted to create the model so that new generations of kids and adults will be able to explore the wreck long after it's gone. She's been sitting here on the bottom of the ocean for over a century now, and is expected to disappear by 2030, thanks to hungry bacteria eating at her hull and slowly dissolving her. Yeah, it really is sad. It'll soon be just a memory. But this sounds like a worthwhile project. What's the assignment they've asked for? The developers at VR Education have asked us to place a plaque on the stern next to the one Dr. Ballard placed by Are you the still? Jesse, if you are watching, no, I am not a Mr. Robinson. I'm not a Mr. Robinson. I'm not a Mr. Robinson. I'm not a Mr. Robinson. And I'm in a different school. Thanks, Gene. I'm on my way now. Oh, wait, what? What do I have to do? Oh, that's some... Wow, where? Ah, uh, this one. Long time. Okay, I'm on location now. I can see Dr. Ballard's plaque. Great. Once you've placed it, please take a photo so we can send it to the people at VR Education. dedicated to the memory of all those who lost their lives on the sinking of RMS Titanic on the 15th of April, 1912. This plaque is located on the ship's final area of refuge before she plunged into the depths of the icy ocean. May those who perished 
find peace at their eternal destination. Very poignant. It's sad to know that many of the victims on that tragic night spent their last few moments clinging to life in this very spot. It was the last part of Titanic to submerge. Yeah, I can't imagine what it would have been like. This whole trip was a big honor. I feel like this one's gonna stick with me. Me too. It was a pleasure guiding you on your dives, Dr. Lynch. I hope we can get to do this again someday. Don't mention it. You performed brilliantly. Yeah, I think it's time to call it a day. Let's hope we get some funding to come back here in the future. I'm sure there's a lot more to be discovered. Me too. Just hit the autopilot to return to the ship. Are we going ROV? Okay, go back home. I'm probably engaged. And we are off. Mm -hmm. I finished the whole thing. Oh my. Nineteen twelve. Okay, let's do this on the deck. Titanic's on deck. Um, Titanic's hull has been breached by a collision with an iceberg and has rapidly taken on water. The Carpath Captain Smith has ordered women and children on t to lifeboat. <laughs> can't bring me. Women and children. This I way. Guess Women I'm and either children. a kid. I'm too tall, so I guess I. Head for that woman. ship on the horizon. I'm invisible. Transfer your passengers and tell their captain to come at once. We require urgent assistance. Surely they can see our rockets, sir. If they can, they are not responding. As quickly as you can. Aye, aye, sir. Oh. Quickly now. Women and children! <laughs> Quickly! The boats are leaving! Daddy, where are we going? Shh, love, we're going on a little adventure. We'll be back yes. soon. Over here. Let's try this one. I'm afraid it's women and children only, sir. Please, sir, can't you see my wife needs help with the children? Sorry, sir. Captain's orders. What's the meaning of this? Most this of the people that died were men. Everyone will be back aboard in good time. John, I can't manage without you. I need you. We'll just have to for now. But don't worry, Marie. I'll get on another boat. You go ahead with the children. Daddy, I don't want to go without you. John, I don't see any men boarding lifeboats. I'm sure there's other boats further down letting men board. Right, David, help your mother and sister board. Yes, Dad. I'm sorry, sir. Women and children only. For God's sake, just, just a boy. What age is he? He's only 16. He'll have to stay on board with the other men. God's sake. Do something, John. Is there nothing you can do? My wife can't manage alone. I'm afraid not, sir. Captain's orders. Hey, the officers are letting the boys leave on the other side. You must, Harry. Thanks, friend. 
Marie, take the baby. Look after Emily. Um, we'll get on another bird. Emily, Daddy loves you very much. Be good for your mother and sister. We'll see you again soon. Daddy, don't go. You have to come with us. We won't be able to find you. Shush now, love. You're going on the boat with your mom and your sister. We'll be along shortly, I promise. Daddy, I don't want to go. Women and children. Go straight to the next boat. Do what you must to get aboard. Do you understand? I will, ma'am, I will. Don't worry. Mind him, John. Right, Emily. Time to go. Be brave. No! Here, no, Daddy, Emily, please. go. You have no, to go with your mother. You. Go. Please let me go with no. you. No. Oh, You're having all right. Please. Be good, child. Oh, I think I pressed the button. Well, um, I could select level. No, well, guys, this has been uh, the stream. I finished that, and I'm all good now. I finally finished this game. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and.